bombshell revelation tonight, one week after President Trump met with a Russian official and a Russian diplomat in the Oval Office. Yeah, the Washington Post and the New York Times today both reporting that Mr. Trump shared a classified intelligence report with them. It was about ISIS and plots to get laptop bombs onto planes. KKL9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with the very latest information and reaction to all this, Dave. And we don't know yet what the outcome will be here, but certainly this is an administration just mired in controversy. It seems like every week something new. Tonight the showdown is on. Two major U.S. newspapers who broke the story on one side and the White House, which strongly denies the charges on the other. The stakes couldn't be higher, and the question is, did President Trump leak highly classified material to two Russian officials during a discussion they had last week in the Oval Office? The meeting in question took place last Wednesday in the Oval Office. Attending were Sergei Lavrov, the Russian foreign minister, and the Russian ambassador to the U.S., Sergei Kislyak. The Washington Post reports the president went off script and began describing details about an Islamic State terrorist threat related to the use of laptop computers on aircraft. A former intelligence official told CBS News something inappropriate was discussed. The information the president discussed reportedly came came from a U.S. partner, a secret source, information so sensitive that it was not shared with close U.S. allies. Hey, good evening, everybody. National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster denounced the Washington Post report. The story that came out tonight, as reported, is false. The president and the foreign minister reviewed a range of common threats to our two countries, including threats to civil aviation. At no time, at no time, were intelligence sources or methods discussed. And the president did not disclose any military operations that were not already publicly known. And I, I was in the room, it didn't happen. I think that the White House is playing word games here to that effect to try to, uh, to, try to blunt the impact of this story. Gary Miller was one of the reporters who broke the story Monday afternoon. He charges the White House is talking around the subject. Nor do any of these White House officials who are denouncing this story, nor have any of them offered any explanation why, if this was also above board and no, not problematic in any way, why did the National Security Council, coming out of this meeting, feel it was necessary to contact the CIA director and the director of the National Security Agency to give them a heads up on what Trump had just told the Russians? In fact, the Post reported the president discussed the content of the classified information, not how it was collected. I think this is um, highly damaging. Former C CIA Deputy Director Michael Morell told CBS Evening News anchor Scott Pelley the president's remarks could have some major impact. The Russians will undoubtedly try to figure out um, the source or the method of this information to make sure that it is not also collecting on their activities in Syria. And in trying to do that, they could well disrupt the source. And Morell says the president leaking highly classified information could, in this case, give other countries pause before sharing that kind of information with the U.S. in the future. But Deputy National Security Advisor Dina Powell, who attended last week's White House meeting, also declared the newspaper story false and said the president only discussed the common threats that both countries faced. Nonetheless, the story got major front page coverage in the New York Daily News, which called President Trump the leaker of the free world. The irony is, once again, the president now finds himself explaining an allegation against him, which is very similar to a charge he slammed Hillary Clinton with when attacking her for mishandling her emails. In July, candidate Trump tweeted, crooked Hillary and her team were extremely careless in their handling of very sensitive, highly classified information. Not fit. Now, even some Republicans are deeply concerned about the reports. If it's true, obviously it's disturbing, but I think we've got to find out more before I could comment. But obviously, if it's, a, it's not a not a good thing. Senator McCain isn't the only one who's concerned. Tennessee Senator Bob Corker, the chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, told reporters the White House is in a downward spiral right now and needs to get things turned around. He added the White House has got to do something to bring itself under control and in order. Jeff, Lena, back to you.